Hi, this is Tim Halloran. This is day three of the 90 day video challenge. Um, I was uh, gonna, uh, I'm gonna do this video with my selfie stick just because it gives a little different dim dimension to, uh, to it. And I can zoom in and out like this. Um, so I was going to do this uh, video about cynicism because I'm, I'm reading a Joe Vitale book which I have here. Uh, this is called The Secret Prayer. I'm just reading this at the moment. Um, and there's a really good chapter in it on cynicism and how uh, our brains are hardwired because there's a payoff. We get uh, chemical dumps and serotonin and things apparently from... Uh, when we are cynical or if we're spouting off about something and we get to uh, think we're better than people or we you know we we also iron out our particular beliefs and uh, it kind of gives us a bit of a, a, a an ego boost i suppose when we're being cynical um, it makes you you can feel superior to people or somebody um, you're reminding yourself of who you are and who your social group is. Uh, you know, it gives you a, an excuse to spout off. And there's lots of negative payoffs from being cynical, but there's, uh, it's obviously incredibly limiting as well because um, you're, you're consolidating what you believe already, <laughs> which generally will create the uh, same outcomes in life that uh, you've already created. So, um, and the next chapter I think is on gratitude, which is uh, perhaps the antidote to cynicism, because you can't be grateful and cynical at the same time. Uh, I don't think you can anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, really uh, in interesting and inspiring. Um, I feel definitely uh, I've gone through various years of being cynical um, about a number of different things. Um, I've always sort of stuck with the idea of an online business, um, despite having gone through huge amounts of down time, uh, difficult times, uh, being cynical, for, uh, not, uh, not making money with it. Um, but uh, I've noticed a lot of cynicism from other people whenever I've mentioned uh, working on an online business, it might be the way I talk about it sometimes or if, I'd, if I've not been in, a, in a, a great state of believing it at the time, that comes across in your tone and your manner and uh, people pick up on that. But uh, on the whole, there's a huge amount of cynicism towards on, an online business. Um, and uh, I think there's a few reasons for that. Firstly, it's, it's a new thing, it's a new concept. Um, but also people like to feel safe in their decisions. They, they like to know that they've base their life on sound decisions and if somebody tells them they can uh, not work the job that they've been working in for the last 10, ten years um, and that they can escape their answer is well if it was that easy everyone would do it um, and that sometimes is a bit of a get out it's a bit of an escape and we, uh, it, it, it means we don't have to drop our guard and investigate something we can uh, we can rule it out straight away and, and then carry on regardless in the comfort of our our current belief systems. Um, but if if an internet business was something that was possible, we would have to uh, investigate it and start it, and it may you know completely change everything around for us. And we would have to actually uh, learn something new as well. And, and a lot of things that uh, are blockages for people are dropping their cynicism, uh, opening their minds to a different belief and, and then taking action and taking consistent action like everybody's doing on this, uh, this video challenge. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, what I wanted to say today. Um, hope everybody's doing okay. Thanks for the supportive comments and uh, feel free to leave, leave some comments on this video and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.